Hey, are you planning on building a pond? Or maybe you are one of those fish keepers who prefer to keep the fish in your backyard pond. If so, then this video is for you. Building the pond from scratch is fun, especially when choosing the best pond fish. Various fish species can thrive in ponds, ranging from exotic koi fish to pond fish that look like sharks. However, while choosing your pond fish, it's vital to determine whether the fish would adapt to the conditions of your area's climate during winter. That's because many aquarium fish are tropical and rarely do well in ponds, and vice versa. Other pond fish also get large and may be better suited for larger ponds. That's why it's crucial to know what fish are best for ponds, what size you should have for a particular fish, and what is the favorable climate of your pond fish. In this video, I'll walk you through 7 of the best fish for your ponds. Along with the best ones, I'll also discuss what pond size you should consider for a particular fish, will know the favorable climate and other factors to help you succeed in pond fish keeping. Now before we get started, here's where I ask for a hand on smashing that like button. Smashing the like button lets the YouTube algos know that this video deserves an algorithmic high five but at the same time encourages me to make more videos just like this one. If you like our videos, please subscribe to Aquarium Store Depot where we discuss all the fish and aquarium related topics so you can thrive in fish keeping hobby. With that said, let's get started on our list of best pond fish. When we hear about ponds, the first fish that comes to mind is the koi fish, one of the most popular fish for ponds. So in the first position, let's learn about koi fish. It wouldn't be wrong to say that the koi are the king of ponds. With their beautiful, colorful, cylindrical bodies flexing gracefully, the koi fish is a treat for sore eyes. As for outdoor ponds, koi is a perfect fit since it tends to grow very large if kept in optimal water conditions. Also, they are robust fish that can withstand extreme winters and summers. However, while keeping koi, consider the regular maintenance and upkeep of your ponds as they are much larger and difficult to maintain compared to aquariums. If you are considering rare species, then it would cost you more. Koi fish usually range from $15 for young to thousands of dollars for adult koi or rare fish species. Koi needs an enriched diet and a large environment to grow healthily and happily. The ideal size for koi ponds should be over 1,000 gallons and 3 feet deep to provide the fish with everything they need. Additionally, if you're planning to keep a group of fish, you will probably need a pond with over 3,000 gallons. After koi fish, let's learn about our next pond fish on this list, which is goldfish. A goldfish is the best known pond fish. It feels quite at home in a pond. Like koi, Goldfish also appreciate wholesome, well-aerated outdoor ponds. Goldfish are small, hardy fish that does well in extreme temperatures. This makes goldfish the perfect choice for your garden ponds. Since goldfish are cold water fish, you should provide a decent shade to your pond to maintain the water temperature. However, in colder climates, there's no need to cover the ponds as the sun's heat perfectly balances the pond environment. The size of your outdoor pond should accommodate around 20 gallons of water per goldfish. Since goldfish are smaller than koi, they do pretty well in medium-sized ponds. However, ensure the fish swim freely without bumping into other mates or ornaments. For goldfish, a pond depth of 18 inches is all that is needed. They will do well in 3 feet deep ponds. They are less demanding than koi. Goldfish are very social, docile, and friendly creatures that enjoy the presence of other fish. Suppose you have got a pond already occupied by koi. If so, it's best to check your koi size before getting goldfish because older koi and immature goldfish typically don't get along and may even end up killing each other. Goldfish need care, love, and dedication. With water temperatures around 65 and 72 degrees Fahrenheit to thrive in your outdoor pond. After goldfish, now let's talk about our next fish on this list which is the Chinese high fin banded shark. High fin banded sharks are a widespread freshwater fish species that are extremely unique and a must have for pond keepers. And even though their name might scare you, trust me, high fin banded sharks are not sharks at all. They are your usual algae eating freshwater fish with just a single row of pharyngeal teeth. We call them sharks because they have long, sharp like fins at the top, which makes them resemble mighty sharks. However, 
they require a larger pond area as they grow over 4 feet. Furthermore, the markings on high fin banded sharks are majestic, making it a rewarding choice for your ponds. They are difficult to find locally. I recommend purchasing online through one of the best online fish stores on my list. You will get a link in the description so that you don't have to search here and there for these cute little sharks. After the Chinese high fin banded sharks now, let's move to our next pond fish, which is the golden tench. You should try golden tench if you want your koi to have friendly pond buddies. A golden tench is a raised fish derived from the original tench from Europe. It is also referred to as doctor fish because it is claimed that this fish takes care that different fish will not fall ill. That's why they are commonly known as a doctor fish. I don't claim that's true. However, I know that golden tench cleans up water, which ultimately helps other fish to remain healthy in the pond. This is the science behind why they are called doctor fish. Also, golden tench are tough fish, and their life expectancy is around 15 to 20 years making them an excellent fit for your garden ponds. You should have proper knowledge before introducing them to your pond, like the depth of your pond should be at least 28 inches. Your pond should hold a good amount of aquatic plants to keep gold tench happy. It's never a good idea to overcrowd your pond when keeping golden tench. So you keep in mind these factors before introducing golden tench to your pond with other fish. Now after golden tench, Let's learn about our next pond fish, which is sturgeon. Sturgeon is an easygoing fish that may reach the age of over 50 to 100 years. They are popular in larger ponds and waterscapes. Sturgeon should be kept in ponds with at least 1,000 gallons of water. Larger ponds are most optimal, particularly for active species. At first glance, sturgeon can be misunderstood as sharks, more substantial and bigger with their mounts and underside. However, they are sensitive to sharp gravel and sand at the pond's bottom. The sturgeon requires a large pond with proper filtration because they prefer a strong current. Also, a sturgeon needs special feed that sinks to the bottom with a strong odor that looks like natural feed. If you're thinking of getting sturgeon as a beautiful pet for your pond, here's what you should consider some points before buying these beautiful creatures for your pond. Keep the bottom of the pond clean because sturgeons are bottom inhabitants. So, the accumulated dirt may cause gasification, causing harm to the fish. The sturgeons require frequent feedings. They cannot digest most plant proteins, so they need a higher percentage of fish meal or shrimp meal content. Your pond should have a depth of at least 50 inches with minimal aquatic plants. All in all, there's a rule of thumb to determine your pond size for sturgeons. Keep the pond size 10 times larger than the size of your fish to ensure maximum safety and health. Now, let's learn about our next fish on this list, which are minnows. Minnows are small fish that are great for smaller or pay show pond setups. For large ponds, if you want your other pond fish to feed on something naturally, minnows are a good choice. Minnows are an excellent food source for other bigger pond fish that can live up to 7 years and keep your pond ecosystem clean by eating larvae, reducing algae growth, and adding movement into your pond. There are various types of minnows, but the fathead minnow and white cloud mountain minnow are the best suited for outdoors. White cloud minnows are the smallest minnows you would ever find that grow up to 1.5 inches only. Their shiny green appearance and bright red fins add a moving effect to your backyard ponds. White cloud minnows are typically kept in ponds used for breeding frogs by acarus and pond owners. White cloud minnows are omnivore creatures that eat water, vegetation, and insect larvae. It makes them the best addition to your pond if you love adding new mates to your pond fish. After minnows, now let's learn about our last fish that can be kept in ponds which are guppies, one of the most popular fish in the aquarium industry. Guppies are small, bright fish species that thrive in outdoor ponds as well as in aquariums. Despite their small size, guppies can swim through a lot of space throughout the day. Since guppies are tropical fish, they enjoy warm waters with a temperature tolerance of up to 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius. Therefore, your garden pond would keep them happy as long as it's not chilly outside. The peak months to keep your guppies in the outdoor pond are between April and October, when the water is warm enough to keep the fish healthy. 
even though you can keep guppies in aquariums, they enjoy garden ponds as active swimmers. Another advantage to keep guppies in ponds is that they receive more sunlight and nutritious food, keeping their skins bright and more colorful than in aquariums. Therefore, if you love small pond fish that add life to your pond, go for guppies. But before introducing guppies to your pond, you must consider a few things like Guppies enjoy clean water, so the water filter is a must in your pond. Guppies are small fish species, but they require ample space for swimming around the pond, which makes them highly suitable for pond life. Guppies are easy prey for predators, meaning larger pond fish can eat guppies. Before introducing guppies to your pond, you must know these points, and I hope you are now well aware of what fish you can introduce to your pond with what conditions. Fish are graceful, scaly creatures that add colors to you brackar ponds. Despite being healthy and hardy, pond fish need extra and special care regarding their habitat and food. In this video, I've covered 7 of the best pond fish species with their recommended care to add value to your pond. I hope this video helped you with why you should consider adding these pond fish and what conditions and requirements you have to fulfill before introducing them. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Aquarium Store Depot, where we discuss all the aquarium-related topics and help you thrive in the aquarium hobby. And if you want to know about fish you should avoid keeping in your backyard pond, please let me know. We will create a separate video on pond fish to avoid, so make sure to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any updates from Aquarium Store Depot. If you have any queries or problems related to the aquarium hobby, join our Facebook and Discord groups where beginner to advanced fish keepers share their personal experiences. I am sure you will also find your solution if you face any fish keeping issues. Thanks for watching this video.